morning, Ray for Olympians. Today is Monday, October 1st. You'll be on an odd class period schedule. Welcome to our sister spooky season. Happy birthday to Nicole Gayton. Today for lunch, we'll be having teriyaki dunkers with pilaf chicken strips or mini corn dogs. Just a reminder to our volleyball team members that you will have to leave at 2.20 today for our games. For our flag football team members, you are to leave at 12 p.m. today also for your games. Attention artists, if you signed up for the Art Before Breakfast Sketchbook Club, our meeting is today and at lunch in room 16. You must be signed up to attend Monday's meeting. See Ms. Wilson in room 16 if you wish to sign up for future meetings. Now let's do some teacher shout-outs. Shout out to the band students for being awesome and working hard to prepare for their performance Friday night at the KHS football game from Ms. Sigel. Shout out to Frankie Espinosa for always being available to help other people in our class, Mrs. Wilson. Uh, shout out to Sadie Carpenter who has done an ex excellent job explaining her reasoning in math from Ms. Dedini. Mr. Yarbrough wants to give a shout out to Gunnar Geringer for caring about our environment and recycling. Uh, shout out to Junior, Junior Cortez for always picking up after himself at lunch. Good will from Miss Willis. Mrs. Carinder's seventh grade students are at for acting respectfully towards the guest teachers in her classroom this week. She appreciates you. Now let's welcome Gucci Grant and Money Maddie. Sorry, Emma is now Supreme Grant now. Totally do not get fired from Gucci. Now let's get back on track for the week at a glance for the staff. The teachers that are on duty this week are Walls, Sigals, Dadini, Can, Moon, Mr. Hernandez, and Pendergrass. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who are you? I'm glad you asked. My name is Maddie Gucci, your replacement. The next staff meeting is on October 3rd. Have you sold anything yet? Well, the first turn-in turn -in day this week is on October 4th, Thursday, for the fundraiser. We're out. Thanks, Supreme Grant and Money Maddie. Today, playing in the gym for our volleyball intramurals will be Team one, Cade, Jace, Dolan, Tommy, Ad, 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 Aden, Aiden, Aiden, and Eddie against team six. Jesus, Anthony, Junior, Josh, Jesse, and Leah. Playing on the outside courts will be team seven, Alec, Damian, Wyatt, Leo, Trenton, and Wyatt against team 12, Gavin, Jason, Zach, Houston, Ethan, and Gabe. Good, Good luck. luck. And now our shout out of Sister Spooky Kindness is... Tyler Jensen for being funny, cool, and nice. Thank you to Destiny, Sophie, Emily, Kyla, and Ben for always being great friends. And now, stand and be respectful, and please be respectful as your teacher leading the flag salute. I'm Kayla. And I'm Emma. Oh, by the way, check this out. You can still use the docs function on your Chromebook while it's offline. And, and you've, you've just been spooked. Hi, today we're going to learn how to access your Google Docs and work on them even if you do not have access to a network from home. You're going to do this um, by logging on as an existing user. You'll notice that here on the bottom right hand corner you'll notice the Wi-Fi symbol that has a slash through it. Also in the center of the screen it says no network. This means that you don't have access to Wi-Fi. However, you can still log in if you're an existing user. Right here you'll see in blue, sign in as an existing user. Go ahead and click on that and you can enter your email as normal. And you can also enter your password as normal. Once you do this, you'll notice that it has the dinosaur, which indicates there's no internet connection. From here, you can go up to the search bar and start typing in docs.google.com. Once you do this, you'll notice that you have access to any of the docs that you've opened on this Chromebook that are saved in your profile, and you can actually begin working on those. Your work on this doc will remain saved on the profile of your Chromebook until you arrive back at school and you connect back on the internet here at school. Then you'll be able to submit any saved work to your teacher at that time. Thank you, and I hope this helps.